everybody, your favorite host of Promevo TV here, Mark. And I wanted to take a step away from the devices that we've been so thankful to get our hands on for just a second and talk to you about a feature that has probably seen way more use this year than any year before. Because there are tons of us that are still either working from home, maybe have online learning, or even just are staying at home for other reasons that are less sad, I'd say that we've all probably spent a little more time in front of our Chromebooks throughout the months. And you know, maybe it's your weekly hangouts, maybe it's your 8 a.m. bio class, or digital time with the relatives. Having a copy of what's right in front of you is the easiest way to remember what you need. Over the years, there have been plenty of third-party applications for Chromebooks that have allowed you to capture what's being displayed on your screen, but not without constraints. And you know how I feel about constraints, mostly negatively. Typically, you'll find a watermark over your screen recording unless you pay for the premium version of the application. And you'll notice that the record times are typically capped very low, sometimes resulting in multiple short length clips. Well, Google finally heard my pleas that I've been shouting outside of their offices for the last five years, and currently over on the Chrome OS Canary channel exists an early working version of screen recording for your Chromebook's native resolution. Being worked into the existing screenshot interface, you'll be able to record without the need for a third-party application, further showcasing the power of updates through Chrome. Now, while you can test out this new screen recording feature right now, I do have to tell you that it is only accessible at this moment through the Canary channel that I mentioned previously. Think of this as a testing grounds for future Chrome updates in their early stages. Don't look up why you sent Canaries in the mines and why we're calling it that. Please note, doing this requires booting your Chrome device into developer mode, and upon switching back to stable mode, your device will be wiped. So of course, I suggest backing up all those files to that sweet, sweet cloud. When this feature leaves the Canary channel and becomes available to all of us, we'll update this video with the new steps on how to access it. All right, with all that red tape out of the way, let's dive in. We're gonna start by booting our device into developer mode. Again, I cannot stress this enough to back up all of your files before doing this as resetting your device to stable mode will wipe the device. That's the last warning. Once your files are backed up, turn off your Chrome device. Now, while holding in the escape and refresh keys, power your device back on to enter recovery mode. Once you're in recovery mode, you can press the control and D keys to enter developer mode. From the developer mode, we're going to then open what's known as the Crosh Terminal by pressing the Control, Alt, and T keys. Once the terminal appears, enter the line as shown. And don't forget those underscores. Live in a coal mine. Once you've entered that, press Enter. This will ask you if you really want to switch to the Canary Channel. Press Y to confirm. Now that we're in developer mode and on the Canary testing channel, it's time to update our device to make sure that we can access this new feature. So let's begin by opening our settings app within our Chrome device, clicking on the left-hand menu, and then the About Chrome OS section. You should notice the section labeled Check for Updates, and this will begin manually updating our Chrome device. Once completed, the last step is to enable the new screen recorder. Open a new Chrome tab on your device and in the URL section, enter the text as shown. A drop down menu will appear allowing you to enable the in beta feature. So now it's time to open that sweet new recorder. Pressing the Control, Shift, and Overview keys will bring up our screen capture menu where you will now notice the ability to toggle between still pictures and full recordings with the option for full screen, selection, and windowed modes. No more third-party apps to worry about continually updating or paying for it. Cha ching Screen captured videos will save directly to your device and can be uploaded to your Google Drive for easy storage. Now that you've reached this point, you're probably wondering how you can get your Chrome device back to the stable channel once you've had your fill of screen captures. I'm already ahead of you. I'm sure you're not surprised. 
We're going to start by opening our cross terminal once again with the use of the Control, Alt, and T keys. Once the terminal is open, type the two following commands with a press of the Enter key after each line. Here it is. As I mentioned before, when this new feature leaves the Canary channel and becomes less complicated to access, we will update this video accordingly for all of you lovely viewers out there, even for the ones that are less lovely. And there you have it, folks. It may be in its early stages, but native screen recording through Chrome OS is just one of the many ways that Google continues to surprise us with automatic updates after all these years. What are some other features that you would like to see Google build into Chrome OS natively? You should leave that as a comment below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to these videos if you found it helpful at all. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Promevo TV.